morning. Today is Monday, May 18th, B-Day. I'm Joanna Weidenhammer. And I'm Megan Weidenhammer. And this is Kennedy Live. In weather, it's cloudy, 65 degrees, with a high of 85 and a low of 62. Happy birthday to Henry Cabrera, Henry O'Reilly, Teresa Redendo, and Joy Fan. Have any announcements that need to be read on Kennedy Live? Send them into our new email, kennedylive at kennedycatholic.org, or go to the Submit Nudes tab at kennedycatholic.org. Students who expressed interest in traveling to Italy next spring are reminded of the June 22nd registration and deposit deadline. Once the group is at capacity, registration will close and students will be placed on a waiting list. This may happen before June 22nd, so please submit materials as soon as possible. Any questions, please speak with Ms. Willis. Ms. Normile will be holding after-school preparation sessions for the June 2nd Common Core English Regions every day in Room 114. <clears throat> Focus will be on reading, comprehension, and essay writing. And now for In the News with Jordan. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic. I'm Jordan Hopkins, and this is In the News. Our top story today, manager, Marlins manager Mike Redmond has been dismissed from his duties after the Marlins game yesterday. Redmond, who became manager in 2013, has amassed the worst record in Marlins history. The decision was made yesterday after the second-to-last Marlins came within one strike of being no-hit by Braves ace Shelby Miller. The two are obviously in no way related. The new manager is General Manager Dan Jennings. It is the first time in baseball history that a general manager has become manager. Well, that's all for In the News. Back over to your anchors. Thank you, Jordan. And now for President's Corner with Father Valancourt. Good morning, everyone. Uh, as is my want on Sundays, I go around saying masses at parishes and the community. Uh, just this past Sunday, one of the parishioners asked me, they said, Father, if you can in one word describe the ethos of Kennedy, what would it be? I said, leadership. I say, our students are leaders. Uh, they set standards for themselves and they pursue ever higher goals. I would say that especially to our senior class, class of 2015, who has just made a record-breaking $22 million in scholarship money. That's leadership. I would say to our seniors also, uh, let's lead till the end. Let's run the race and let's sprint till we get to the finish line. Uh, let's not in any way slack off now. Let us run the race, as St. Paul said. I say that to all of our students. Always, always set higher goals for yourself. Uh, do not try to dodge, run, go to the sidelines. Do never, ever, ever be content with mediocrity. Always be a leader. Uh, leadership uh, and how it's embodied in our students. If I could get a picture of this, a close-up, can you get that of our midshipmen there? Uh, you can see in this issue of the Gale, Kennedy has a record five midshipmen at the U.S. Naval Academy, five of them. Uh, I think that is a great tribute to who we are as a school and certainly gives us recognition at the national level. Uh, I am very proud uh, to be with them this Friday. Uh, Jason Davin, as you can see there, the class of 2011, uh, will be graduating and I will be there with our midshipmen at his commencement ceremony. And so uh, I, as a head of the school, take pride in all of them. Uh, there they are. I encourage you to look at the Gale. It is Jason Davin, class of 2011, and Dennis Devey, class of 2013, and Brita Mannion, class of 2010, Bridget Devey, class of 2014, and John Davin, class of 2013. As I said, I am very proud of them. They are not only leaders in their academy, uh, they are off to serve their country. As Memorial Day, we remember all those who gave their lives in service to our country. So I will be with them this Friday uh, to share in those commencement uh, ceremonies. I am proud to be with them, and certainly I am proud of all of them. And so in honor of our five midshipmen and all those who gave their, service, their lives in service to our country, Kennedy Catholic will be closed on Friday uh, to recognize their service and in order of all they've done for our country. So God bless our midshipmen, keep them in your prayers, and enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. God bless you, and have a great week. Thanks so much, Father. And now over to sports with Osta. Thank you. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic Sports Nation. I'm Osta Ryan with your sports. So today we have Varsity Lacrosse versus Cardinal Spenman at 4.30. We got Boys JV Baseball versus at Iona at 4.00. And then we have Boards Varsity Baseball versus Iona Home at four as well. In pro sports, the Yankees lost to the Kansas City Chief, Royals, I mean, 6-0. to zero. And in ice hockey, the Rangers beat the Tampa Bay Lightning 2-1 and took the first game of the Eastern Conference Championship. So, go Rangers. That's all for sports. Back to the Yankers. Thanks, Ostop. Well, I'm Joanna Weidenhammer. And I'm Megan Weidenhammer. And this has been Kenny Live. Have, have a, a great, great day. day.